Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another little naughty Primark haul. <laughs> um, excuse the state in which I look. Um, I literally have just mascara on today because I'm going to get my eyebrows done because they are well overdue and they look disgusting and I need them ready for my holiday. So this is why I look quite disgusting. <laughs> I thought I'd just show you the bits that I picked up the other day. Um, my excuse is that I'm going on holiday, so this is why I've got a few Primark hauls being uh, thrown in there recently. I've got quite a few bits, and I thought I'd show you them, and we've got a little try-on haul as well. So, the first thing I picked up was this black and white stripy dress. And this is like one of those bodycon dresses, and it sits at quite a nice length. It's not too short, it's not too long. And it doesn't do that whole rising up thing from what I can gather. Do you know like when you get a tight dress and it kind of rises up? This doesn't do that, I don't think, at the moment. But I haven't really walked too far in it. But from the try-on, it doesn't seem like it's going to... I'm going to have to keep going like that to pull it down. It's just black and white stripes. They had a few different colours. They had a yellowy coloured one with stripes on it as well, I think. But I just thought this was a little bit basic and I could sort of dress it up if I want to. Um, it's got little sleeves on it. It's a nice sort of material as well. It's quite thick. I got this in a size 8 and it was only six pounds what a good purchase that was um, I then grabbed myself a pair of new jeans so I have wanted and needed a pair of new jeans for ages and I just can't find any that sort of fit nicely but I went into top job top shop because a lot of people recommended like the Joan I think they called the Joni jeans and I tried them on and I did like them they were really nice but then I thought I'll go into Primark if I can't find any I like in Primark then I'll just pay out that little bit more money and get the top shop ones then I found these shaping super high waist skinny I got these in a size six and these fit so nicely and I think they're so flattering and I always find that jeans sort of get a bit baggy around the knees and stuff on me but these fit really nicely they're the perfect length I think I got them in a 32 length and a size 6 this little gold button at the front I have no pockets at the front which I actually quite like I didn't think I like that design but I actually do they look tiny on camera um, and then it's got pockets at the back which is nice and it's kind of like they just fit really nicely they sit nicely on the ankles and yeah if you're looking for a decent pair of jeans, get yourself down to Primark and try on the uh, this type of jean. Um, I was looking for some white jeans, but they were all kind of see-through and just didn't sit right. Even the, the white jeans in this make, like this design, didn't fit nicely. So, yeah, you have to kind of try on the jeans to figure out if you like them or not. And these were £10, which I think is a bargain for a pair of jeans. And I might actually grab another pair because I love them so much, maybe in a slightly different colour. Um, and then picked up these little shorts. I think they're called, are they called paper bag style shorts? This little white pair. And they are a little bit see-through, but I'm gonna be wearing them on holiday and stuff. So I think you can kind of get away with it and it's not so, I don't know, it doesn't matter too much on holiday. If you wear the right kind of colored underwear, it's fine, you can't really see through them. So they've like this scrunchy bit at the top, which I think makes them paper bag style. It has this tie up bit, some sweet little buttons, some little brown cork looking buttons. And I just think they're really, really sweet. You can sort of dress them up, dress them down. They'd be really cute with a nice pair of sandals and a little crop top, maybe. Picked up a basic little white t-shirt because I don't actually own any white t-shirts and I've been really into like the t-shirts look at the moment where you can just like tie it in a little knot at the front and wear it with a pair of jeans. I just think that looks really cool. So I just picked up a white t-shirt and I do think I should have got this in a slightly bigger size, but this is just their basic stretch. They're called stretch crew t-shirts. They have quite a few different designs of t-shirts in Primark. Some of them are like v-neck, some of them are wide neck. This is just the stretch crew, which is just a basic t-shirt. And it's just a plain white one. They had cool different designs. I didn't really find any designed ones that I liked. So I just got a plain white one and this was £2.50. And it's very soft and very comfortable. But I do think I should look a slightly bigger size. I got this in a small, which is a size 10 to 12, but it is quite small. Um, the reason I wanted to get, I should have got this in a bigger size is because I like to tie it in a knot at the front and it's kind of hard to like gather it up and tie it in a knot because it's quite small, but I can get it into a knot, so not too much of a deal. I then picked up this, which I'm not too sure on. I saw it on the hanger and I just thought like, 
if you go into Primark, there's quite a lot of Hawaiian-y kind of vibes going on, especially in the men's section. I love Hawaiian shirts. John brought a, a Hawaiian shirt with like tigers on it and he looks so good in it. I love it. I can't wait for him to wear it on holiday. It's going to look so cool. Um, but I bought this and I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, you'll see on the try on. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should keep it or take it back. But I don't know. I'm not too sure on it. But I think if it was just a top, I could wear with jeans it'd be fine but where it's like a whole play suit I kind of look like I should be like a safari instructor <laughs> it's just this little play suit and it has buttons at the front which is quite a low low neck on it and then it just goes into like these little shorts at the bottom and I do like it I don't know I just don't I don't think I'm cool enough to pull it off I don't know I just don't think the kind of design suits me I got this in a size 6 and this was £6. Let me know what you think. If you like it, comment down below. Let me know if I should keep it or not because I'm not sure. I don't know. Last clothing item thing I got was, this is going to be hard to show you now, but on the try on you'll see how cute it is. And I saw this in a couple of different colours. It was this colour, which I preferred. And then it had like a, they had like a white and black stripey version as well, which I think would be quite see-through. So this is why I picked up this and I just thought it was a fun little pattern kind of Hawaii in as well <laughs> um, but what this is is what this is is like a little play suit oh, it's gonna be so hard to show you you've got your play suit normal into shorts at the bottom but then it has this long bit at the back so that the front is like shorts and then the back bit is like this big flowy sort of dress so at the back it kind of looks like you're wearing a big long flowy dress but then at the front You've got like a little play suit and you can tie it up around the waist and I don't know, I just thought it was really different and it's really good, it's really soft, it's thick material as well and I just really liked that. And I got this in a size 6, I probably could have done with a slightly smaller size so I might see if I can go back and get a smaller size because it is, I don't know, it feels slightly big around the top on me. Um, so yes, yeah, so I got this in a size 6 and this was £15. I mean £15 for Primark is quite expensive but... I don't know, if you saw this in like River Island or something, this would be like 50 quid. Hey, so the next thing I actually forgot to show because I left it downstairs so I could see if my mum would sew the button back on. But as I was trying it on, this actually happened. <laughs> But despite the button falling off, I actually really like this little play suit. It's super cute and they had loads of different designs and I'm definitely going to keep it. But I just need to send it back and get another one. Uh, if not, I'll just sew the button back on. But if they have another one in store, then I'll just swap it over. It's only £6. Just some necessary bits that I needed for my holiday, really. Oh, one of them being this little cute hairband. They had loads of... Can you see it? But I just thought this would jazz up a ponytail a little bit and I'm kind of in love with it. It's very very sweet I mean it would look a lot nicer if I had my makeup done and my hair actually washed <laughs> I got this this one it's like a little silky tie and it's got leopard print on it and they had so many different designs so if you're in need of a hairband definitely go and check out their hairband section because it's just beautiful I then picked up a basic white pair of flip-flops because I mean you can't really go on holiday without a Primark 90p pair of flip-flops because you can just wear them, leave them there. I say I leave them there, but I always bring them back. 90p pair of white flip-flops. Can't go wrong. I then picked up PS Fierce Eyelash Colours because my eyelash colours have got to the point where they have like a groove in them. When you curl your eyelashes, it like snaps your eyelashes off. So I was in need of a new pair. And um, I actually ended up cutting like a chunk of my eyelashes off. But there's like a gap in my eyelashes. <laughs> and it's really sad. But they are growing back, so it's fine. So be careful and make sure you keep changing your eyelash colours. And this comes with a spare little rubber bit. So that was a £1.50 from Primark. And then I just got some little bits and pieces. I picked up some sun cream. Because I find it really hard to find some sun cream that is okay to put onto your face and um, I find that if I put like normal body sun cream on my face it's quite oily quite greasy really breaks me out around my face so I like to get a special one for my face and Primark are doing this one which is a mattifying one which is a bonus as well which is three pounds so look at that that is a good one um this one is how much do you get in here 50 ml so it's a nice one just to, if you're going out just to chuck in your bag this is a SPS 30 and it's water resistant and non greasy and I like to put this in my bag when I go on holiday so I can just rub it little bits on my shoulders on my face just a little touch up if you're out so you don't have to take a big bottle as well 
I then picked up a um, sun protection lip balm because normally wherever you go these are quite expensive and I do like to take a lip balm um, don't ever put Vaseline on your lips when you're going on holiday because you will burn your lips and they will blister so be very careful with that I picked up was this which reminded me of the benefits they're real mascara is it they're real i think they're, they're real mascara and this was three pounds and i'm going to give this a go because this is called wonder lash and i just thought it might be might be a good thing to try I then picked up this belt which has got like this little gold detail in, in it it looks kind of leather but it's obviously not leather because it was only three pounds and i got this in it extra small but i think i need to put some more holes in it because i like to wear it up on my high-waisted jeans and I would need a hole like the it holes in there and I would need a hole like there so yeah I needed a belt to go with my, my jeans and stuff so I picked this up and I thought it was really cute three pounds as well bargain it was just two pounds and I think that's a really good bargain for two pounds because it's very very pretty I mean yeah if you went into somewhere like River Island or something and got this it would be very expensive it would probably be like 10 12 pounds what a winner winner chicken dinner that was everything I got from Primark. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think about that little play suit and in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.